Hey, what is up Chicago Bears fans? So we have some breaking news, something that is really inspiring to me as an Indian that I wanted to share with you guys, something that I am so excited to share with you guys, and as a Bears fan too, that the Chicago Bears have hired Sean Desai to be their next head coach. Now, this is making history guys, so Sean Desai is now the first coach of Indian descent to become a coordinator according to Ian Rappaport. You know, as an Indian, let me give you some background. So as an Indian, we're not really programmed to go into football. You know, we're programmed to go into three fields, which is medicine, engineering, or, you know, being a lawyer, you know, all that kind of stuff that if you're Indian, you probably will understand. We're not programmed to go into football. It's not common. And Sean Desai is going to inspire many Indians, many Indians to show what is possible. And... I think that as an Indian, this is going to inspire me to show that I can do anything. I know I have a disability, and that also shows me that I can do anything. But as an Indian, this is a monumental moment for other Indians to show anything is possible. And if you're an Indian, you can make it into football. And that's what this move of Sean Desai shows. This is a great move. I'm really excited. And now I first want to um, go into Sean Desai's um, coaching career and share that with all of you guys. So, as a coach, Sean Desai coached at Temple. Now, he coached there for four years. He started coaching in 2006, and he ended his time at Temple in 2010. He was a defense and special teams coach. Now, you might say, wow, this is amazing. Let me tell you something even more amazing. So, during this time, he got his doctorate in education. So, he is a doctorate in education, and he was also an adjunct professor at Temple. Now, from there, he went to the Miami Hurricanes. In 2011, he coached there. He was the assistant director of football operations. From there, he went to Boston College, where he was a running backs and special teams coordinator in 2012. And then he came to the Chicago Bears. From 2013 to 2018, he was a quality coach assistant. And he helped, you know, do whatever that, that job is with the Chicago Bears. And then he was promoted to the safeties coach in 2019 to 2020. And he was a safeties coach there. And now he's a defensive coordinator of the Chicago Bears. And, you know, don't just take my word from it. Take other people's word from it. So Sam Alcho, he had a lot of great things to talk about Desai. You know, he wanted us to hire. He said, go ahead and hire Sean Desai. He is the next Brandon Staley. He even called Sean Desai Fangio's right-hand man back in 2018. Now, 2018, everyone. You know what that means? 2018 was uh, the best year for the Chicago Bears defensively. This guy is going to bring back the 2018 defense. This guy is going to bring back the hard fought, the interceptions, the turnovers. Because he's a guy who has worked with, he's a guy who helped create those turnovers. You know, he's worked with Eddie Jackson. He's worked with the safeties. He's worked with all these safeties. And he's going to help the Chicago Bears get better, you know, defensively. He's not going to put in Danny Gervais and Robert Quinn, Khalil Mack in a coverage. No, this is a guy who knows his coverage. He's going to fix the Chicago Bears. He's going to make smart moves. He's going to put the right guys in the coverage. He's going to match it up with the speeds of the receivers, the speeds of the tight ends. You know, he knows his stuff. And I fully, fully predict that Sean Desai will bring back the number one defense that we saw in 2018 with the Chicago Bears. He knows all of these guys. He's not Chuck Pagano. He's going to bring back the 2018 defense, everyone. He's going to bring back the 2018 defense. I'm really excited for this move. I'm so proud as an Indian that he did this. And again, here's my motivational message. If you took anything from this, you know, as a Bears fan, I want, as a Bears fan, but if you took anything from this, it's to show you that anything is possible. It doesn't matter what race you are. It doesn't matter if you have a disability. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. So everyone, I hope you have a great day. Go make those dreams. Go make those goals happen. And don't forget to bear down.